The first thing you're going to do is format your card. Make sure you select low level format. Once that's done, pull out your card and put it into your computer. Head on over to Magic Lantern's downloads page. I've placed the link in the description. It will ask you to select a platform. Select EOS M.202. Go ahead and download it. Now what you want to do is unzip the file. Make sure that the firmware version in the build matches the firmware in the camera, in this case 2.0.2. .2. Now drag the files in the Magic Lantern folder onto your SD card. After that's done, pull out the card and insert it back into your camera. Make sure that you're in manual photo mode or else you will not be able to update the firmware. Scroll over to the fourth wrench and select the firmware version option and make sure you update the camera's firmware. It shouldn't take too long and after it's done it will ask you to restart your camera. Go ahead and do so. Now switch the camera to video mode. You're going to use two fingers to tap the screen. There you have it, Magic Lantern and many of its great features at your disposal. Some of the ones I really enjoy are the waveform and the histogram. Magic Lantern really helps you get the most out of this little camera, and with a few accessories, it can hold its own. I'll have more on that in part 3. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.